So what will it take to get more wind power in China? And why is there so much more solar power being generated? I'm joined from Shanghai by Zhen Jiajiang, director of the Environmental Research Center at Duke Kunshan University. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Why is wind still such a small part of China's energy mix? Well, the share of wind power appears small because China's total energy consumption is too big. In terms of magnitude, wind power generation capacity has increased dramatically in the past decade, and China now has become the world's largest wind power generator. Of course, China still has a lot of problems with its renewable energy industry, and China has not released its full potential in wind power because of technological, economic, and policy barriers. Now, critics point out that nearly 20 percent of the alternative energy generated in China actually goes to waste. You mentioned the technology there. They say that's because China's energy grid cannot handle excess power in part. So how big of a problem is that? When can we see that resolved? Integration is indeed one major obstacle for the renewable energy. So as you just mentioned, the power grid uh, absorption problem. So in terms of a technological barrier, uh, intermittent renewable energy has caused trouble for the grid. And also lack of long distance transmission is another concern. Um, keep in mind that China's uh, renewable power generation is mainly in the northern and the western part, but the consumption hub is on the east coast. Besides the technological barriers in terms of the cost concern for end users is one concern because for China is still a manufacturing country and the manufacturing job is at stake is a very sensitive to energy price and also for households they are very sensitive to electricity price and in terms of for the local governments now uh, in recent years because of a tax incentive for local governments has become another barrier because local governments can get more tax revenues from coal power than wind power. And the production of wind power is in one jurisdiction and the consumption is in, in a different jurisdiction. So that the separation of production and the consumption makes the local governments there unwilling to take more renewable power. So all these put together, the technological reasons, economic reasons, and the policy reasons, and make the integration is a very challenging. Let's look ahead to the future. Where is alternative energy going in China? And do you think coal will always have some sort of role to play? Coal, well, in my opinion, coal will be always around. Although China's coal consumption has been declining since its peak in 2013. So mainly for three reasons. So the first, China has abundant coal. China's coal accounts Coal accounts for about 64% of the total primary energy consumption in 2015. In comparison, the number in the U.S. is less than 20%. And the second, I believe that the cleaner coal-fired technology can mitigate environmental concerns. For the Chinese top power plants, they were built just in the past decade. So while the U.S. top plants were built between 1967 to 2012, so the newly built coal fleet in China has low emissions and high efficiency, makes, makes the, the, the pollution can be managed. And the last reason is that it takes time to shift away from a coal-based economy because of the Chinese economy is heavily dependent on the coal. And the recent economic growth, the the slowing down of economic growth makes local government is very difficult in shifting away from a coal-based economy. So for economic growth, GDP growth, job creation in coal-abundant provinces has become a huge challenge. All right, Junjia Jiang joining us from Shanghai. Thank you for joining us.